Fast is under the umbrella. My That's right, so true. Am I right, Timbo? Give, give, me, give me the seal of approval. Timbo! I think so. If he flaked immediately. Oh, there we go. Correct. There yeah. we go. Corrin C did. Dude, Corrin needs a haircut. Uh, <laughs> he's got it. He's got it, it. It's a look. It's a look. It's going somewhere. C he's did. let him C, cook. C dude looks fresh. Holy crap. Look look at that. He looks like an adult. He looks yeah. like I'd find him in the office. He, he looks yeah, like an accountant. He, he looks like he just got out of the job. Which, like, thank God, we need more employed people here. Mm -hmm. We need more people with jobs. All right. Did we see here? PT Daisy. Okay. All right. If I had to guess, I could maybe see, like, Ivysaur playing a, a role in this, just like the zoning game. Yeah, that's because... Oh, that's a dot eyes, I think. Already? Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, okay. So we were... So, so there it is. There's the Ivysaur trying to zone people out. Yeah, because Daisy does kind of like to get in your face, you know? Not a whole bunch of range coming from her, but, like... Yeah, yeah, when yeah. When she gets in, she just explodes on you. Right. And then you're it, at 60. It's trying to keep her out of that... Her, like, not super great burst rates. Once she's in it, uh, what are you supposed to do? Yeah, all of her exactly. moves are safe. All of them combo into each other, and they all do 60. But an early switch to Charizard here from core all right if you switch to charizard before 40 you're going for cheese that's how i feel if you switch that early you you know something that i don't well core i know core and uh he is the most confident i believe in his charizard actually really yeah he's a he's a charizard enthusiast but all right high flare blitz getting away there mm -hmm. and we'll see what happens i mean if seated is able to pull this off that is another big upset in this tournament right right right, and right now he's commanding the stage great there's a and stitch. he gets a stitch Right as the stock is wiped as well. This is excellent for Seated. <laughs> right. If I'm Core, I got to figure out a way to take this stock early, which, granted, Pokemon Trainer is pretty good at doing, but he has mm -hmm. to find a way to do it relatively quickly. Yeah, drops the stitch. Oh, you know what? Off of it. I think that's fine. Getting the stitch out of play is what matters. Yeah, that's true, especially if you're at a deficit here, because I think it's a lot more terrifying uh, for low percent combos. Mm -hmm. Right. Or, God forbid, a shield break setup. And okay. All right. I love the tether cancel there into the forward air. Mm hmm. But does it get any follow up off of it? And Core is still hunting for his first stock. Yeah, I feel like Core is like chasing, chasing Daisy, and like uh, Daisy's using her like superior movement up close, like her vertical movement to like oh, yeah. escape a lot of these corner scenarios. And which okay, like goes low there, but yeah, mm -hmm. parasol put into safety. Okay, rolling away from the up grab. Smash. Ooh, up B crosses him up on the DI as well. Right. Yeah, that move being crazy, having all the super armor, and being almost as fast as as up smash. Yeah, I mean, two amazing out of options from Charizard there. Doesn't get that back throw back here like he was hoping, but... Right, right, right. I mean, again, I feel like with most of characters, especially like Charizard, Ganon, and Little Mac, you just are playing worse now. Like, you, you get so scared because one hit, and that potentially is it. Right, right, right. It's the fear factor. And also, it's like that I have nothing to yeah. lose and everything to gain. I mean, you play Fox, all right? That sounds awful. Oh, no, I definitely <laughs> have lost years on my life. Yeah. Definitely for sure, and I've definitely died at 12 for it. I feel that. Okay. Uh, all right, here. Okay, back out of shield at 167 to 18. But honestly, you could, you know, say Core could take the stock. And I exactly, be one to two neutral interactions, maybe like a tech chase off of yep. a nair with flare blitz. That can be the that can be the turnaround. All right, let's see the ledge trap here. Oh, tries to get that float nair, doesn't get it though. And the dash deck not still enough not gonna either. kill. It's a heavy guy. And uh -oh, uh oh, no jump either. That's no jump, and I don't know if Core makes that back. He doesn't. <sighs> went for all, went too low to the ocean, and he's gone. But Mm -hmm. I mean, he does have seated still in a pretty disadvantaged state, but mm -hmm. excellent turn of throw, uh, just putting him away there. All right, all right, let's see the combo here. Oh, what's the mix there? It's still going. Oh my gosh. Yeah, throw back air. A Another back air. 80. Oh! Calls out the Run Razor out Leaf. Forward air. Not going to do it. But I mean, he's hunting right now. Right, and he has like the resources to do so. He makes yeah. a mistake. Momentum, and... that is the first game in seated's favor. Mm hmm. Yet again, another up a game on what should be an upset within yeah, this tournament. I mean, and what a whooping that was. Yeah. Core doesn't play the game as much um, nowadays. He hasn't played in like three months. But I mean, I feel like those skills stick with you. you know? Right. You never forget how to learn. You never forget how to ride a bike. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I, I'm hoping to see maybe a potential Palu switch here. I'm not sure how that matchup goes, though. It might be like. It doesn't sound phenomenal, though. I can't I can't really make that coral call. I don't know, know enough about either character to really make Me that. Me neither, but like just on the surface level of observations, I feel like Daisy can just get in your face and just start pressing buttons, and Palu might struggle a bit. But... I think we are seeing the Palu switch. Core might know something that we don't, right? Maybe there's some, maybe there's some setup. Maybe there's some game plan that really counters the ideas of what Seated's been doing, mm -hmm. you know. And it was a switch to small battlefield, so trying to keep a bit of a smaller stage, maybe trying to even overwhelm Daisy in like close quarter scenarios. Yeah, I mean Daisy, like it's it's not it's not free buttons on Daisy, you know. You, you definitely have to like do your spacing and your timing right as well. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. Okay. 
Yeah, that auto reticle probably doing a big part of the, the game plan just because it kind of stops Daisy in her tracks. She doesn't have a good way to like get past it other than either rolling through it or yep. just and taking another it thing that I didn't really think about. Uh, Palu's vertical juggling is very good, and Daisy might have some trouble landing. Here. I would go as far as to say that's Daisy's uh, worst part of disadvantage. Get yeah, down. It, it's not landing. You're so floaty. You don't really have anything to just you know screams get off me from uh, above. Right. Or below. You really just have float mix-ups, and when, once you use that, that's really all you have. Mm -hmm. But right now, uh, relatively even game right now. Down tilt. Ooh, try to get a grab off that. Uh, nothing he would hit, I would assume. Mm, let's see. Nice defending himself in the corner. Using that, that short hop backwards, I feel like, is a great way to get yourself out of the corner. Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay. No down tilt two frame. Yeah, that's, that might be another thing, using the disjoints for, for ledge trapping and trying to hit Daisy, because she can rel she can go pretty uncontested if you don't have a disjoint, just because that parasol just shoots so far up. Yeah. But Palu down tilt does not care. Go ahead, hit the sword. It doesn't matter. Yeah, but right now... Uh, threatening really well with that turn up right now, but Core managed to fend himself off. Mm -hmm. mm. All right. Okay, there's another forward air. I love those short hop forward airs with Palu. Right. Palu's short hop game is insane, having yeah. so many good Ooh. aerials. And the down tilt just killing outright. Yeah. That down tilt is weird. Like, it, it sends, I believe, I actually have no idea. But I've seen it said upwards. I've seen it said, like, straight out. Right. It, it, it's a bit confusing. I think if you are hit in the air, it pops up. And if you're on the ground, it pops out. Okay. okay. Right. So I that's see. why they use it for two frames, because it, like, it lingers so long and it pops them straight yeah. up. And you can read an air dodge, get a backer off of it. All that right. good stuff. It's right now, Core is in a commanding lead now. Mm -hmm. I feel like Seated hasn't been able to just touch the ground and play the game for exactly. the past 15 seconds. And that's that juggling game we're talking about with Palu. I mean, her up air is so good in the neutral air. I mean, we know about that neutral air. For oh, three yeah. Years the, now. The, the spin cycle really does work for you. Mm -hmm. And uh oh. Oh, oh did not reverse, reverse the up air. And that's an early stock fallen for Seated. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing a bit of a reversal here from that game one. Core is looking in total control. Oh, my gosh. Look at all these reads. Look at this. Just waiting for CD to press a button. He feels very. Com it feels like Core is much more comfortable than he was before. It feels like he, yeah. he knows what he wants to do and he's better at executing the game plan than he wants. Right yeah, about and you now. know, if you haven't played the game in a few months, and when it comes to PT or Palu, I think one of those characters is a little bit easier than the other. Right, right. I definitely agree with you that. Know, a simpler game plan here from Palu. Mm -hmm. There's another forward air. All right. If I'm CD, I'm trying to figure out how to take this stock and then like. I don't want to say cheese, but like try and take the stock from Palu as quickly as possible. I think another thing that's important here is just to like at least look at what Core's options are in advantage, just so you know, because odds are you're going to be losing this game. Oh my god, anti-airing with the forward smash? Excellent forward smash. <laughs> that was crazy. But yeah, if you're seated, like just look at what the options are, try to adapt it right now so you're ready for game three. Counterpick is yours. So right, right, right. You do have a game to play with. There's so. still plenty of knowledge you can gain from this last stock with Daisy. Mm -hmm. Right. Or you could pull two bombs. You could. I've seen crazier things. <laughs> you right. never know. Caught okay. That should be it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Down tilt forward air caught that jump. And Core takes game two mm -hmm. convincingly. I, I really, I, I think the Palu switch is really what helped. Made him more comfortable. I think the disjoints really helped. I feel like he's more comfortable in that character's advantage state. Felt like when he won neutral, he won it for longer. Yeah. You know what I mean? Felt like with the PT, he'd get two or three hits and then it'd be back to neutral. But the Palu really kept the advantage state going, which I think is really important. Definitely. Putting the pressure on those Daisy, like, you know, it just... It can be so suffocating at times. Mm -hmm. All right. I didn't see the pick. I, I think it's Hollow Bastion. Hollow Bastion. All right. So I think it has to do with being able to do those safe aerials underneath the platform, right? Now Core doesn't have the ability to fall down and do an aerial just because the platform protects them. Yeah, and so well. can now shark from below. You know, that up air is pretty dangerous, actually. You could do some weird resets that we've seen from, like, Umeki. I've seen those. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we'll see what's, if uh, there's any tricks he did has up his sleeve here in this game three. Mm-hmm. All right. Both trying to play for center stage. Not entirely sure how they want to approach. Yeah, you, do, you really don't want to call for the first hit here because the odds are you're probably going to take 30. Exactly. All right, down to or down throw forward still. Oh, interesting. Barely missing the air dodge read. Okay, let's see. Seated in the corner. Not a great position to be in. Yeah, and there's that in there. Trying to just eat his jump there, but doesn't get it. Mm -hmm. Here's the ledge trap. Okay. The tilt dash attack. Okay, just a peach or daisy bomber. Right, Why yeah. Not? Ooh, that's a risky explosive flame. Okay. Feels like Core's been kept in the corner for the majority of this game so far. Yeah. I feel like that might be a big thing that they're trying to do is yeah. trying to keep Core in the corner, trying to limit their options movement-wise. Also caught a roll with that golf club. That was actually shocking. Uh, Daisy, not a lot of disjoints, but I mean, you got a few. Mm -hmm. But right now, hoping for getting an edge guard here. Core goes high. Very wise decision. Mm -hmm. Daisy's just not fast enough to punish yeah. it meaningfully. Ooh, I think he wanted a ledge cancel with that teleport, but doesn't get it, and then gets hit for it. Okay. All right, smart to just parry and keep shielding. That multi-hit is going to get you. Right. We'll get we that get, shield. We got, peanut, we got peanuts. It's not looking great. Oh, my goodness. 
All right, rolls into the auto reticle, and just Core's just trying to keep him at bay, get his shield back to at least a somewhat manageable percent. Right, right, right. Yep, and there it is. It's fully back. But he is off stage. Excellent explosive flame there. And can make it back. Wow. Great oh, yes. uh, character knowledge. I did not yep. expect him to make it. There's and the up air. Seated nice. is falling to that. Yeah, just a crazy disjoint. Really hard for Daisy to get oh, anywhere yeah. away from it, right? Unless you directionally air dodge, in which case it frame traps. It, yeah, it's stupid. Oh, I love the down airs. It sends it like a weird diagonal angle, but... He's not getting anything. There's a stitch. Another one for the fans. Mm -hmm. All right. It, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Ooh, Two oh. hit 47. I like the counter to get out of there, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you definitely knew that CD was probably going to go for a forward air because he's been doing that the entire game, trying to get that early edge guard. Mm -hmm. um, I like and, the uh -oh. oh. Oh, no. Not another SD. It's That's 61. That is brutal. Right. But right. Core is going to take that to the bank and back. And now I feel like this momentum, again, might just be all his. Right, it's looking like Seed is really trying to just get their footing back and they can't really get anything together. Yeah. Right. Look at him. He's trying to go in, but I think the smart move might just be to reset neutral with turnips and just try to poke. Right. Palu being relatively quick and has the auto reticle to stop the turnip, so I understand the idea, but turnip might be their best chance. I hate to say it, but like trying to pull another stitch face might be the play here. It might be, but here's an explosive flame. I'm not sure if Seed still has a jump. There it is, though. All right. Floats back to safety. Almost drags it yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, that, that was almost a bit spicy. Almost made him taste the rainbow there, but... <laughs> right. Not quite. And, yeah, back in this little mid-range pocket we're seeing from these two characters. Mm -hmm. Seated on their last Ooh. legs. Air it's dodge. not looking great. Yep. Okay, back airs. Just gets Core away. Ooh. Core had the right idea there, but Seated spot dodging just in time. Mm -hmm. And that should be it. Explosive yeah. flame. Very unfortunate. Uh... There was a double SE stock, too, from Seated. It was, like, pretty close in both games until that point, and then it just kind of spiraled out of control. Mm -hmm. 